rockets, high-tech aircraft, satellites, unmanned vehicles. They're all part of the futuristic world of aerospace. Aerospace means anything that is dealing with air and outer space. The application of math and science into building aircraft. For me, anything that flies, cool technology in the air and all the stuff that goes along with it. Some of today's hottest new technologies and some of the best jobs are in the aerospace industry. But what's it like to work on the leading edge of technology? Let's find out. My name is Crystal Cole. I am an aerospace engineer for Cessna Aircraft Company. I design aircraft. I work on the instrument panel. The CJ4 is the plane that I'm working on. I make a pretty good salary. The fun thing about my job is after we finish designing an aircraft, going into the factory and watching it being built. It's very exciting knowing that you build a plane, you've worked on it from the ground up, and then one day you're gonna see it flying in the air. That's great accomplishment. That's something to be proud of. When building a plane, first you design it by computer, then you build it, and then you test it. This plane has been through over five lifetimes worth of testing. If you take a look at the wing, we use pumps that move the wing up and down over a million times to test the flexibility. Fiberglass wing tip comes along here. I knew early that I wanted to be a, a pilot and an engineer, so I knew that you had to do well in math and science. I would say I am a nerd. Sometimes you have to remember what your goal is, and so you have to force yourself to do well and excel in these subjects. I had scholarships all the way throughout college, so it's okay to be a nerd. <laughs> I go fly, of course, during my free time. Not only do I know how to build a plane, but I know how to fly it and how it works. I'm telling the plane what to do, where to go, how high to fly, how fast to fly. It's like peaceful. You're up there by yourself. You're above everything that's going on in the world, and you're just looking down and enjoying it. You can do anything as long as you put your mind to it and stay focused. My name is Thad Selden and I'm a software engineer and I work at Raytheon. I write software for uh, controlling unmanned air vehicles. I write the stuff that the pilots who are sitting back on the ground use to fly the airplanes around. Sometimes they'll actually be all the way across the world, you know, flying airplanes on in a whole other hemisphere. This is where we, uh, where I work most of the time. This is where we build the software that flies the unmanned vehicles. Everyone in here is uh, writing code and testing things. Everyone here has a good time. We, uh, <laughs> we work hard, but it's fun work. So out here is where we put it all together. We uh, assemble all the different computers and software and test it out and test it with the actual airplanes. This is a small one. We fly bigger ones uh, most of the time. Um, but we put all the pieces together out here and make sure it all works before we ship it off to our customers. And when we're done in here, when we want to show it to customers, we build it up in a big facility and that's next door. I'll take you there now. Uh, this is the system they actually use to fly the airplanes with. So pilot sits in this seat. You can see the way it looks out the window of the airplane and fly the vehicle from here. You don't have to be naturally gifted at math or science to be an engineer. In middle school and high school, I was actually terrible at math. I struggled with it, especially in high school. Uh, when I first hit calculus, I just hit a wall and I couldn't do it at all. But I was fascinated by physics and the way things worked and how stuff moved. After I started doing all the physics, the math started making sense. From there, I went into software engineering and airplanes and robotics. Just because you start in one direction doesn't mean that that's where you're ending up. You know, follow the path that interests you. 
for me, I like to sail. And, you know, I go out on my boat and I see the pulleys and the ropes and the aerodynamics of the sail and, you know, that's all engineering. But at the same time, I'm out on the water enjoying a sail. <laughs> you know, I love hiking, I love sailing. I work usually a 40-hour week and I get home at five o'clock. Weekends, just short little trip out to, to where I keep my boat, out on the water. My name is Andrea Sargent and I work at Bell Helicopter. I am an engineer. But I like working as a female in the industry because I do like um, showing that women can do it. One of the things that I'm working on right now is de-icing technology. Ice can form and be a dangerous situation for a helicopter and could cause it to crash. And the particular areas that we're concerned with is the engine inlet because there may be ice coming in there and also on the rotor blades because if there's any ice forming on there, it could make the helicopter unstable and wobbly. Ice can form on this leading edge of the airfoil. We wrap a, a heater blanket around it so that way we can keep the temperatures up and so that ice doesn't form on the blade. I believe that if you like math and science, that doesn't make you a nerd. And I enjoy doing fun stuff like uh, snowboarding, scuba diving, and riding my bike. So I don't think, you know, that makes me a nerd. I think kind of the stereotype of a typical engineer is someone who is very introverted or doesn't talk to people a lot. Part of the reason why I like my job so much is um, not only the fact that I can do the analysis and the mathematics, but I also get to work with people in, in, in a team-like setting. I love working with people. And, that's the only way these helicopters or any aircraft for that matter gets built is if you're working in a team. It's a world of technology. Aerospace jobs are in demand all over the globe and that trend isn't going to change anytime soon. Aerospace engineering offers some of the most fascinating opportunities around. The best thing you can do is be curious. That's really what the spirit of being an engineer is, is being curious about how things work. The next great idea could be yours. So take another look at math and science in school. It could be your ticket to a great future.